The community that never stops outdoing itself has done it again, bringing us a series of new tools that are set to change how we create art. In an age where robots threaten to take our jobs, our best defense is to create better and faster. So today, let's dive into the latest Blender add-ons that can help you achieve that without pouring endless hours into the technical side of art creation. If you are going to spend extra time on your work, let it be on perfecting the art itself, not getting bogged down by the process and technical bits, like creating good topology. We all know good topology is better when it comes to sculpting, mesh deforming, cloth simulations, and so much more. But Blender does not exactly make it easy to generate clean quads. So how about an add-on that does exactly that? It's a one-click solution to fix end guns and topology issues in your mesh, letting you spend less time troubleshooting and more time being creative. As you may already know, we are no longer competing with humans. Now it's AI against us. While AI's progress was lightning fast in the beginning, it seems to be stagnating, thankfully. Meanwhile, our workflows are getting better and better. Nowadays, you can create art better and faster, especially if you leverage the assembly line strategy, which is when you let other artists craft the tools and assets you need while you focus on bringing everything together into a cohesive piece. Take the Nodit collection, for example. It's packed with materials, shaders, masks, node groups, procedure generators, and more, so you don't have to build everything from scratch. This is the way. With something like this, any changes a client might ask can be done within a few minutes or hours instead of days that it normally takes. Speaking of the assembly line strategy, you might not need an office building or furniture right now, but when you do, there's no need to start from scratch. The team at Evermotion has already done the heavy lifting, putting together a massive collection of interiors from auditoriums and offices to warehouses and more. Whatever you need is ready to drop into your scene, saving you time and effort. I have tried a few AI 3D model generators and the reason they haven't taken over the 3D industry isn't just about quality, though some are surprisingly good. Sure, the quality isn't quite there yet, but they are decent enough for background assets or low poly mobile games. The reason AI hasn't fully re replaced us is how difficult it is to make changes or edits. It doesn't matter the medium, whether it's image generation, text, video, or 3D models, asking an AI to make slight adjustments is like asking it to remake the entire thing from scratch. And don't even get me started on customization. A procedure tree generator like this offers way more control, it's lightweight, fully customizable, and best of all, it looks absolutely stunning. There is no way you are going to do something like this with an AI or even modeling it directly. It's going to take you way more time and if you need to change anything, it would be too hard to do. The hard truth in this capitalist economy, where everything revolves around companies making profits, is that our value as artists comes from being able to deliver exactly what clients want and make changes on the fly. And this is our biggest advantage over AI. And our biggest disadvantage has always been we take longer to create what the client needs. But when you have tools that assist you in delivering faster and quickly, like this cloth library, then we take our advantages again. For example, this cloth library is a library of pre-simulated cloth meshes and templates to choose from. When you use tools like this, you are setting yourself up to be a goat in this business. You gain faster results with a great level of creative control. Now check out this add-on, it lets you sync multiple 3D views, so when you rotate an object in one view, the other viewer does the same. It's perfect for sculpting, but it's also super handy for texturing, painting and modeling. Plus it comes with built-in references that are a game changer for anyone in, into sculpting. You get a detailed model with muscles, skin, skeleton and all anatomic features labeled, making it easier than ever to detail those complex forms. AutoRig Pro is, is one of the most popular Blender add-ons out there, and if you already got it, you will definitely want to add this library of animal rigs. It's packed with rigs for everything, from cats and dinosaurs to sharks, dogs, horses, snakes, birds, and more. The rigs are easy to transfer to your own models, and once you bind the rig to your model, all you have to do is hit the space bar to play back the pre-made animations that come with the collection. It's a huge time saver and a must have for any animator. 
speaking of collections, here is a set of shader nodes that include masks for adding moss, dirt, water, puddles, scratches, damage, and a ton of other effects that show the passage of time in your scene. It's perfect for giving your work that with that lived in look without having to manually paint every detail. Normal maps are also great for adding the extra detail to your materials, perfect for small things like bumps, scratches, and surface damage. But when the camera gets too close or hits certain angles, that detail can disappear or look flat. If you want those scratches or damage to feel truly engraved into the surface, Parallax Occlusion is the way to go. It's lightweight, fast to render, and adds real depth to your materials. The problem is Blender does not support it natively. So you have to use add-ons like Easy Parallax to make it work in Blender, which brings this powerful technique into your workflow. If you are in need of a forest, check out the Forest Master add-on. It uses geometry nodes to scatter trees in a natural, realistic way and comes with a library of detailed, lightweight trees that are easy to render whether you are building defense forests or sparse woodlands. This add-on makes it effortless to create stunning environments without bogging down your scene. Speaking of geometry nodes, I've updated my Master Geometry Nodes course with a brand new section on generating trees. I walk you through the entire tree generator step by step and even show you how to animate tree growth. If you're interested, the course now has over 60 lectures, starting with the basics for absolute beginners and moving into more advanced topics for, for those already familiar with, with geometry nodes. I'm still adding new content and coming soon is a section on creating a watch commercial and another on making procedure destroyed walls. If you are into destruction, you can also check out my procedure destruction tools to wreak havoc on your models, buildings, and environment. You can add realistic damage, cracks, and expose internal structures like river and wire meshes. Or if you want to go all out, just generate the entire destroyed building with my procedure destroyed building add-on. It does it all, broken windows, crumbling walls, caved in floors, and more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.